Morpheus. January 20th, 2016, by Robert Misser. Morpheus. The reptilian agenda is the result of a suppressed collective psyche. When aspects of the collective mind are repressed it expresses itself abruptly and autocratically in the void field, as the void is the field of expression whereby light manifests structure. Electricity is accurately formed at each interference pattern of anchored light, and unpacked into holographic projection through the central spatial lens, the center of which consciousness experiences the illusory external universe. Simply put, the holographic reality is likened to collective macrocosmic synapses, in a state of cohesive rendering, and the experience of it to microcosmic synapses. Thus, synapses are a cosmic phenomena functioning synergistically and abiding by harmonic progression. The ideal of the reptilian or Illuminati shadow aspect is to control the macroneurons, just as the individual shadow endeavors to take control of the mind and the internal universe, so do they the experienced illusory holographic external field. The idea of fear propaganda doom and other forms of manipulation, is to disperse the concept into the collective mind of the masses, so there is more energy funding its execution. The more people's mind that it is in, the more macroneurons have downloaded the programming, and reality projects accordingly. Triggers are set in place and reality forms due to the depiction. Like the black cube, the manifestation of certain world systems and situations are derived from the collective mind programming the new sphere is paramount. It's not that they're mocking us, or want us to know what they're doing before they do it for sick thrills, but it's that they need us to know, to picture it, it's an occult ritual. Picture 7 billion people executing the same thought wave in the same instant, the same wavelength with the same intention and thought. That's the true meaning of globalization. The new world order is nothing more than complete mind control, brainwashing, Thus they have to instill the motif procedures collectively, so the holonomic imprint of worldly function follows their impression. The ideology is more of a hive mind deal, thus brainwave entrainment and mass coherence of programming is paramount to program the hologram. Take into account DNA. DNA is formed information in expression, it is programming simple and plain. The brain stores and generates information, it is the space-time processor of the mind. Therefore, DNA is the extension of mind inside space-time. The right brain consists of auditorium and holographic metrics, which is why you hear your conscience in your left brain, and you can see images forming in your mind. The projection and stimulus of this results in the experienced world, consider you controlled all brains through programming, you would program reality. By dividing the hemispheres, they can alter the frequency nature of information that is transferred. Understanding the right brain as the female brain, you see how the outside male world impregnates impression on it, it is the unconscious, and telepathically through piezoelectric interweaving, it forms the holographic reality, collective unconscious that we experience as the external world. Notice that you are failing to notice yourself, and that failing to notice is limiting your energy and consciousness. Once you realize that you are not realizing yourself, you start to realize. They are you, your shadow, the projection of your reptilian brain stem and lower desires. That which isn't noticed or accepted becomes the unconscious, a shadow of what it truly is. The realization triggers the shadow, and then only by the shadow accepting the shadow, can the shadow come into consciousness, because the shadow is that part of you that rejects itself, and also the part rejected. The more it is rejected the more it festers and possesses you pulling the conscious into the unconscious by draining its power, and thus gaining control of the mind and body. Energy is in a constant state of creation, if it doesn't get expression it finds a release any way it can, must like the creative primordial energy of sex, sex creates everything, but when it is not getting a release through higher creative means it forms as lust, and gives you an erection, it is looking for a way to release itself. The shadow is the same suppressed energy releasing itself. Duality is birthed by the rejection of self. If something offends you, it is because you unconsciously know the truth, and your consciousness aggressively dismisses it for positive reinforcement. The idea is to be able to see those qualities, and love them, nourish them, they are revitalized with love. 
This is using both the negative and positive poles as one tool, therefore fusing the poles. This is alchemy. Furthermore to release yourself from being a shadow of the universal mind, you must realign yourself with your whole being, meaning, you are unconscious of your true nature, because you are rejecting it. That is why, sometimes light can seem formidable, terrifying, you may read passages of a holy text and feel a fear because of the seismic proportion of light. Allowing consciousness to embody you means realizing that the fear you have towards great forms of light are because, the shadow is fear. Realize that it is a shadow aspect, and that the brighter the light, the more the shadow is magnified. Begin to transmute yourself by aligning yourself with the synchronic order of higher harmonics. For this to be done, you must attune yourself to natural patterns of harmony, forming symmetrical forms that synchronize you with higher patterns of harmony. If you wish to realign with Source, you have to attune your being back to its original harmonic. Your vibration determines your cymatic, or fractal geometric form, and if your cymatic fractal is self-affine, when scaling, curves lines and or units, are different, exemply grazia, asymmetrical your dimensions cannot change. When you compress or stretch a self-affine, asymmetrical fractal its affinity dimension doesn't change, therefore it cannot raise vibration, or align itself to a higher affinity dimension. But when it transfigures itself back to the symmetrical self-similar fractal of organic vibratory prototype through vibration, frequency can be raised. When you compress a self-similar fractal, it changes its characteristic similarity dimensions, therefore it has the ability to move to higher harmonic affinity dimensions. Most people are attuned to 440 Hz due to the radio frequency, a number chosen by the media, the reverberation of the frequency attunes them, and the geometric modules formed by their neurons create patterns of discordant cymatics, unable to be altered and increased in frequency by natural means. So you need to be a natural frequency to ascend. Realign with the harmonics of source, through prolonging a vibratory frequency, exemplary grazia love, suspend and hold a frequency for a determined length of time and you will completely attune to it, like a suspension when played on an instrument is defined as prolonging a note of a chord into the following chord, from here you can accelerate your frequency by compression, and enter a higher cymatic fractal. There are many natural frequencies though and depending on what frequency you emit will determine which dimensional plane you will ascend to. Morpheus